Pengine tu ungetuelezea. Okay fine. Uh, kazi yako imeharibika kwa sasa una ajira. Uh, what was your turning point? Mke wako mlirudiana vipi? Maana yake umesema uh, ndio ndoa yako ndio ilikuwa kwa sh, uh, shida mm-hmm. lakini mliweza kurudiana. Well, baby darudi nyuma kidogo. Pale tuko pefika na history nilikuwa nime had really reached my lowest of my lowest mm-hmm. kabisa. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo ilikuwa mwendo wa 2017. Okay. Baba kosa kazi na pili ilikuwa imekatika na kuru ilikuwa imeisha contract ilikuwa imeisha. Imegonga kwa mama. Ime kabisa. Mm. Lafu pia na kwa zile shida ambayo nilikuwa nazo ilibidi nirudi nyumbani kwa mama. Mhm. Ikiwa 39 years old. Oh god. Kitu ambao up hadi wa leo ilinifanya nijue lesson moja. Familia yako family is key. Wow. Yeah. Baba alikuwa huko hai? Baba alikuwa hai. Okay. Yeah. Mama kwa liku chukua vipi? Alikupokea vipi? Um, mama ni mama. Mm. And to say the truth, mm-hmm. that was a landing that I think I needed at that time. Okay. No, Kumambu ilikuwa imeniweza. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa nishanza kutikia komba ni mekos. But I was still not out of the woods. Okay. Kwa bado ni metatua shida zangu zote. Okay. Nili tusasa mbao, the basics were not available. Mm-hmm. Ulikuwa kwa ulikuwa kwa mtoto ambaye unasaidia uh, wazazi wako na mama yako alipokuwa hai. I mean Mzaya, baba alipokuwa hai na yeah, were you a present uh, child financially and emotionally and physically wakati ambapo ulikuwa unajiweza kifedha. Kivipi mimi kuwa huko ama As in ulikuwa unasaidia wazazi wako? Of course. Okay. Okay. Close. No, no. Very close. Okay. That, that that's a fact that okay. um, really helped also in our relationship na pia ndugu zangu na dada zangu pia mm. wanisaidia sana. Okay, okay. Love pia au marafiki pia mm-hmm. kuna marafiki ambao kama kuna rafiki mmoja aliweza kuniacha nikae kwake mwezi mmoja wakati nilifukuzwa kwangu na kushania zao walikuja katika mtu zangu zote. Okay. Kulikuwa kubaya. Okay. Na hizo ndio zile shida nilikuwa nazo kwa hiyo muda. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Sasa ilifika wakati nika nikaamua mm-hmm. na kwa hiyo wakati mtu anaenda anapitia mashida nyingi unafikiria kukimbia hiyo solution yako. Okay. Mimi nilikimbia hadi. Okay, no. Mombasa ukunda. Nikifikiria na kibia sasa. Mbona ni Simba wanga? Ama Fatuma. Fatuma uko. Sasa unajua wakati huo wewe unajua unakimbia shida zinazo. Yes. Na makaso moja au watu nafanya sana sana kama wanaume ni kukimbia shida zetu. Okay. Ambapo hiyo that was my lesson. Yeah. So I've learned so many lessons. So ukunda what happened? So mimi nikunda I was lucky enough to to have done some basic job for an event come an event that was there it was the end of 2017 alafu sasa kazi kaisha ikabidi sana tafute namna nyingine mm-hmm. bado kukumbuka nina watoto ambao sikuwa nimeona kwa muda nina bibi ambaye tukua separated 3 years watoto wako wa kiume au kike na watu wawili miaka mingapi sasa 14 na 6 okay mm. okay tendai na kira so miaka 3 oh wow miaka 3 unazungumza na mke wako si miaka 3 ni kama miezi wa kulikuwa na pita because unajua ile kibure ile ile what you call it pride ile pride ni okay. kwa nayo mm-hmm. na wanaume wanaume wengi wata they will agree with me mm-hmm. it blinds us wewe nakufanya usione ile makosa ambayo unafanya okay so i was blinded by my pride my ego ego ni kitu moja ambayo inasumbua inasumbua sana wanaume pia okay na yangu ilikuwa kubwa kuvuka nilikuwa hapo awali huyu tv tuseme ile tv personal yeah, i tell you sasa pia pale nilikuwa nafikiri lazima nikuwe um, should be treated celeb. in the way yeah you mm-hmm. celeb mm-hmm. uh celeb status yeah so hapa maisha yamenlemea mm-hmm. lakini na ile uchungu ya mbona mimi mm-hmm. makini makosa ambazo mimi mwenyewe nilifanya yeah. mistakes that i did so sometimes accepting the mistakes we do takes a huge chunk okay. of your ability to be able to even see the problems you're causing for other people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, ukunda nikaenda nikafikiria na kimbia zaidi mm-hmm. nikaamua nikae huko ndio mm-hmm. sawa. Sasa uko naishi wapi jamani na una pesa? Sasa ni ile contract nilikuwa na hiyo event. Okay. Nilikuwa nafanya kama manager. Okay. Sasa kidogo tu. Okay. So nilikuwa na mahali karum kidogo nilikuwa okay. naishi kidogo. Okay. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. na I think it was 500. Okay. Where? Yeah. From how much you went Nairobi? Ah, ambayo mambo mengine sasa hivi. So I, I really exposed myself. Yeah. So wakati mmoja ambao mm-hmm. kazi ilikuwa imeisha sikuwa mm-hmm. na mbele wala nyuma. Yeah. Nikaamua tu nitembee mm-hmm. kunda tu on the main street. Yeah. Niko na bakery mahali nikasema acha nikae chini nipo muziki. Kukaa chini hivi, <laughs> ndio maana nyuma yangu hapa ndani ya bakery. Mm-hmm. Akanigonga bega. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ya dikimani. 
Ule wa TV? I tell you. Mambo vipi? Mimi simu na kutambulika hizo. Yeah, yeah. Mimi nafikiri Yeah, yeah. So ikafika kwamba tukaanza kuongea. Mimi nika relax mm-hmm. because I thought niko mali ambapo watu wengi wanijua. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because those are the demons telling you you okay where you are with your problems. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tu wapo. Shinda tu wapo. So would you believe it that we spoke for almost 4 to 5 hours? No way. Yes. But with this person I do not know. I've just met him. And then I came to find out he's the owner of the bakery. Wow. Jina yake ni Peter Mokwona. Nakaa msikiza. He's a man who turned around a lot of things in my life. Just by directing me, holding my hand, mm. na kunieleza na kunifanya niona ile makosa ambayo nimefanya. It took a stranger. It took a stranger. Wapi? Ukunda. Mimi nimetoka wapi? Nakuru. I tell you. Mm. So I call it my Damascus moment. Okay. That's where so many things turned around. Okay. Na kutoka hapo sasa ilikuwa sasa ku, ku accept okay. ile makosa nilikuwa nimefanya mm-hmm. both in my personal life kosa ya bibi yangu mm-hmm. ni kosa watoto sana okay kwa siku nao kwa muda mrefu sana okay so ile tu kuwa naye kumjua he is a very religious uh, man so, yeah. okay akaweza pia kuni kunielekeza vile tunaweza ku include Mungu kwa mm-hmm. institution ba niko Okay. Yeah, I was not a very religious person. No. Oh, are you now? I I I it has helped me. Okay. Yes. Okay. In big in big strides. Okay. Yeah. So ikafika wakati ambapo uh bibi mbaya sikana ongeza kwa muda akaniambia akanipigia simu alikuwa tumeongea kwa muda. It was a surprise. Miezi kama 2 3 hivi. Okay. Mimi na kiburi yangu tena pia. Mm-hmm. So akaniuliza kwamba ako na safari mm-hmm. na kijana wetu wa kwanza wako na parents meeting show okay okay na robo mimi kuunda unaweza kuja uwatende owe nikafikiria ashitani yote ananiambia songo donk usiende okay you know mm-hmm. kaa hapa uko sawa hapa huko utaenda kupata stress yes mm-hmm. but uh, tena namshukuru peter so i believe i used to confide to him a lot what I was going through and he was the first person I ever opened up to mm-hmm. in terms of what I was going through. So alinielewa pale natoka. Akunishika kwa mashati kuniambia kwamba unafanya makosa. He, he, he basically just gave me an environment where I would understand what my mistakes were. Yeah. What I was doing. Yeah. Sometimes we need that in life. Yeah. Tuombe atakuelekeza kwa nini. Atakukumbusha makosa. Sasa unafanya makosa. Yeah. yeah. So okay. ni wewe you decide vile utachukua hiyo hiyo feedback. Yeah uta deal na VIP. Okay. Nilifika mahali nikaamua let me listen to him and just do okay. what I have to do that is right. So did you go attend the Paris meeting? Yeah, I attended the meeting. Okay. And good enough I never went back because when my wife came back and with my, me having thought about what I had done. Mm. Kabidi ni nirudi ni mueleze I'd like to work on this. So alikupata nyumbani baada ya kutoka safari? I expect labda atapata nimerudi ukunda. Okay. Yeah, but nilika na alikukaribisha baada ya kuketi you know um apart kwa muda mwingi unaona mjezungumziana no it was not a quite right evil okay. because pia naye pale nakumbuka na ukumbuke pia mm. she was hurt yeah nilikuwa nimemkosea mm. vipaya sana mm. Mm. na nilikuwa tayari with the mind that anything can happen either okay. we will pick up mm-hmm. where we left mm-hmm. or i go back thinking I can deal with my problems with her boss. Did she think you were taking advantage, you know, of her because now you're a broke man umerudi nyumbani? Ili 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 ilikuwa vipi kwake? Nilimsimulia pale niko. Okay. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo muda. Ilikuwa rais. Tunaye pia it's it's true mtu anaweza fikiri kwamba because uko kwenye situation ya utakuwa bathing pale niko na vijana wangu wawili. Okay ambao nilikuwa nimeamua sitawahi waacha tena. Ndio. And I must say that is one of the reasons why I decided I needed to fight for this marriage. Okay. Na pia ilikuwa muda mzuri kwa okay. kukaa chini na kuangalia mm-hmm. kweli shida zetu ni hizi. Okay. Mimi nimefanya hii makosa. Ndio. Na mimi ndio nimekosea. Mm-hmm. And I'm willing to do what I have to do okay. to make this work again. So depending on how you look at it. And to this day, mm-hmm. our marriage is flourishing. Wow. It is I had also to play my part. What did you do to redeem yourself, Eddie? Ndio ndoa yako imarike kama mwanamme. Two things. Mm-hmm. First, I forgave myself. Nilijisamehe because what nation maisha ambapo 
tunafanya mambo na tunasawa kujisamehe na nilijisamehe kwanza kwa zile ambazo ni kwa vitu ambazo nilikuwa nimefanya ambapo zili hurt watu wengine ambazo ziliumiza watu wengine sana sana bibi yangu na watoto yeah and then ilibidi nibadilishe vile naangalia maisha what is important to me what is my priority in life because ilifika pia wakati ambapo priority, priority at some point ilikuwa ni opportunity yote utapata ya kunywa pombe mm-hmm. utaenda kunywa pombe opportunity utapata yote ya ku cheza nje ya nyumba yeah. utafanya lakini yeah. sasa ilibidi nikae chini niangalie okay. what is important to me okay. yeah okay. And, and moment you have an honest um, decision with yourself yeah. you'll be able to see the right direction you should go to okay yeah I could already see. Yeah. And I'm not saying that uh, it's over. This is still work in progress. How is it now? The worst is in the past. Wow. But I can say wow. with all confidence. Wow. Um, But you are a changed man. I'm not the man I was a year ago. Okay. And of course, namshukuru. Yefungua macho tena. Hapana, but you see with the lessons I learned, that's the mistake I again yeah. we also do. We yeah. learn from experiences, but we don't yeah. use those lessons to, to make yourself better. Yeah. Utakuwa unajua umefanya makosa. Mm-hmm. Lakini unajua utatum utajirekebishaje. Mm-hmm. From the lessons I learned na pia ile ku, ku pia kupata mawaidha kwa watu ambao pia wamekuwa hapo. Okay. Na wamerekebisha maisha na I can tell this is somebody who's reformed. Yeah. And I call it the engineering of Edikman. Okay. Yeah, which so far I can tell you I'm very happy with where we are. Mm-hmm. I, I, I believe um we in a place where I never thought I would have been. Uh, both in terms of uh, my marriage my relationship with my children and the greatest lesson greatest lesson I'd like to give my children mm-hmm. is people fall watu wanguka and kitu moja ningetaka kuhimiza watoto pia watoto wangu wajue we sometimes fail because kijana wangu wa miaka 14 mm-hmm. ilibidi pia wakati niweze kumueleze kwa nini nilifanya mambo ambayo nilifanya okay nilikana chini nikamuonesha ile video ya ngeki kamuzo kuna swali na alikuwa yeah. na maswali yeah. na nikamjibu because kama ni anaelewa sasa anaelewa sasa ndio yeah, because yeah. maswali walikuwa nao mm-hmm. baba yuko wapi anafanya nini mbona yuko nyumbani na uki, if you forget to deal with that as you reinventing yourself yeah. watoto wataikuwa kuelewa makupenda tena mm-hmm. bila mm-hmm. wakutakana wakupende okay but uh, i'm glad that yelewa and i keep on it see each maramoja kinaendelea it's a constant it's work in progress mm-hmm. as you go so uh, uh, making your relationships uh, tighter okay. and also making sure that they also learn that these things do happen okay yeah. eli kimani ndani ya studio na swali kwake number ya wasema ni 224 ndio ni jambo bustani la masai japani niko naye Eric Kimani ndani ya studio ili kwa sababu ya muda pengine ungetuelezea uh, nikiweza kuangalia kwa YouTube engaged ulikuwa unazungumzia kuhusu ugonjwa fulani ambao ulikupata na nikikuangalia kwa kina ni kwamba jicho lako moja ni dogo kushinda jicho lako la kulia kuliendaje um first it's a condition called bell's palsy what is that it's a condition where a nerve gets affected. Okay. I don't know what nerve ni twaje kwa Nerve ni nerve. Nerve ni nerve. Ama nerve. Au na. Sasa ili ni tokezea tu. Ni mshipa. Mshipa ni mshipa si vein ya. Okay. It's okay. Nerve. I'm sure okay. you are going to find out. But um just to give you a background, it was a, a random meeting in the office mm-hmm. with my boss. Mm-hmm. Yes. Macho tu ikaanza kutoa machozi. Mm-hmm. Mdomo ikaanza kulegea ika kwa nam kudimi nayo na fila sif nilikuwa nilikuwa na ile ladha kama ya mm. kama umeuma chuma mm-hmm. metallic metallic okay yeah but anyway uh, the short of it is that uh, nilienda hospitali nikaangaliwa nikaambiwa kwamba niko na bell's palsy okay. na ni condition ambayo ina affect bells, bells, bells. ya yeah, kama okay. kengele okay bell's, bell's palsy. palsy yes okay so uh, after kupata hiyo um, report. report ili iliweza kuni affect in a way that pande moja wa sura yangu ikakuwa numb okay macho iko inaweza ku blink mm-hmm. macho the eyeball when and it's just your face just the face okay yeah let me ask you huo wakati uko ushirudi nyumbani kwa mke wako ama bado uko mambo sasa ndio iko imeanza kuchacha wakati nilipata ishida kuchacha vipi kuchacha mambo kwa kwanza kwa kimaisha so 
kuangalia ama nikifanya ile research yangu ya kujua ni nini we na ni chanzo gani na ama ni unataka chanzo cha kupata hii uh, ugonjwa ugonjwa okay wanasema kwamba pia kuna stress inaweza cause stress levels stress levels inaweza inaweza kuwa ni shida pia okay. so ilinifanya pia ni shindwe ni nini juu sasa niona kila kitu inaniangukia tu sasa hapa ni kuna stress zao za pesa uh, ndio yangu ndio hiyo yeah. inaanza ku collapse yeah. Yeah. you know and then here i'm getting sick lakini yeah. kuna support nzuri na okay. kuna okay. marafiki zangu walinisaidia sana kuna okay. wengi ambao walielewa juu na kuna wakati kama mwezi tatu hivi ilibidi nikae na eye patch for a very long time okay kufana kaka kama pilot ndomo <laughs> me yeah umekwenda kwa ndomo ya yeah. sasa oh, iberudi yeah. nzuri ya yeah. okay ya yeah, lakini nashukuru wale ambao walinisaidia na is it a condition ama ukishapata so, madawa inapotea haitapotea kabisa itachukua muda ya yeah. sasa kama ilikuwa 2014 okay. november hadi sasa bado niko na hizo jicho uh, lako kidogo pamoja yeah. yeah, na kama nitakan okay. kama um, it looks like i'm winking at you wakati <laughs> <laughs> nilikuwa nimeka nime nakula okay. machozi na inatiririka okay. tu peke yake okay. yes but um, at least i'm better i'm by far better yeah. now yeah. 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 okay mm. so matibabu yake ni gani unaweza tembe Li, ama nilipitia therapy okay uh, kuna vitu ambao wanaweka the effect there okay. is electro electro something okay. Okay. Kama okay. Okay. na pia kuna madawa ambao okay. mm-hmm. yeah. so wakati nilimaliza ile dosage ya nilileza ku rudi sawa kiasi okay. Okay. so sasa ni management tu okay mm. wow yeah tukimalizia mm-hmm. ni wazi kwamba wanaume wengi na wanasikiliza kipindi sasa hivi ni kwamba they never talk mm. kama mtu ambaye amepitia shida katika ndoa yake mm and umejua makosa yangu ni kokoni moja mbili tatu unaweza kutoa ushauri gani kwa wanaume boka katika ndoa mm. wanapatia wanapata matatizo ma, ma, wanapitia tabu mm. lakini hawajaweza kuzungumza kwanza ningetaka kusema hivi my my situation is not unique it's just that it happened to me like it happens to many other men out there mm. it's just that we, many different things happen to men and most of the time unapata ni ni shida ambazo wenyewe tunaziletea tu mm. Sasa kukujibu sana sana upande wa ndoa ni mzuri ujue ni kwa nini mashida yametoka hapi. Ni vizuri mwenyewe tu kujiangalia kiundani mm-hmm. ili uelewe ile makosa ambayo umefanya kama ni wewe ukafanya makosa because ndoa hizi yangu kwa sababu ni mwanaume anafanya makosa. Sometimes mm. also bibi anafanya mm. makosa. Unaona. Mm. So but kama sasa mwanaume ambao tunaongelea sasa hizi mimi nikiwa pia mwanaume mwanaume ni vizuri kuangalia ni what is important to you si mwole kwa sababu unapenda mtu mm. na kisha pitia ndoa si kitu ambacho utaamka leo useme nimechoka yeah lazima bado si lazima lakini ni vizuri uangalie ni nini ambacho fight for it swali yangu nafikiri mfikie mwisho hapo just try and fight for it mm-hmm. and if there is anything to fight for fight for it okay sana sana pia ningetaka kueleza wale ambao wanaona kuna kitu ambayo wanaweza ku to solve it mm-hmm. especially your marriages yeah. it's very pia ku kuongelesha cancer okay sisi tuli mimi na bibi tunaongelesha cancer okay. tunarudi tukaongea but more importantly ni ninyi wenyewe muelewane lakini wanaume wengi ni wagumu sana kwenda kwa washauri ni wagumu uh, yes yeah and i think it's also a societal problem ni vile ambao wanaume tume tumeelelea na society mm-hmm. ama society inatuambia wanaume kaa ngumu okay wanaume deal na shida zako yes. wanaume um my boy my jik- boy yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah we don't talk yeah and sometimes sharing is maybe what i would just need just to mm. vent out my mm. problems mm. just share what i'm going through they say talking is therapeutic it is very therapeutic yeah. na mimi pia kuweza kusoma kwenye kile ile jukua niweze kuongea mm-hmm. kwa hiyo show ya engage it is a very therapeutic thing for me yeah and i know not all men can stand up there yeah. and talk but i also did it because i believed i'll be very selfish if i don't share my story mm-hmm. if i don't tell people what, what i went through mkiwa kwa lichukulia swala gani by the way alichukulia vp the fact that you went out and you know say it well blah 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 she's been very understanding okay ali by the time you come fika hapo kwenda ku attend your your event yes. na kuongea good yeah. shamba okay. and kuambia this is what i'm planning to do and i'm not doing this for me yeah. i'm doing this for us. Okay. And more importantly to talk to men out there. Yeah, Because yeah. tutakana mashida zetu na muwezi kuitatua lakini mm. aliweza kuelewa. Okay. She gave me the room to prepare for mm. it. 
she also contributed in terms of um, giving me the, the space to prepare adequately to go and talk about what I went through. Because it's a lot of And if you ha when you have a good woman in your life and she loves you, na ata ana pigania kila na juu ni ukweli katika njia wili unskize unskize tu because sometimes we have so many demons that uh, fight us to fight our marriage yeah yeah you know and you always find those situations which is sometimes very difficult yeah to face but sometimes ni ku accept kama wana ume kama mfanye makosa accept look inside yourself and just confront your problems because you can never run away from your problems okay yeah. Jambo masawe please usifunge mahojiano kabla uniulizie hili. <laughs> Uliza so, mgeni mm. mimi hudhani mkopo inaweza kukupandisha daraja. Why did he fail and where? Well, ukichukua mkopo imaanishi kwamba you will succeed mm -hmm. automatically. Yeah. Na vile nilisema kwa awali nilifanya makosa nikifikiria ile biashara nitaingia ninaijua lakini niliingia bila kupanga sikuwa na mawaidha siku siku consult so ikakuwa kwamba niliingia biashara ambayo sikuelewa kabisa mm -hmm. na hapo ndio sasa my collapse ya hiyo um, initiative that taken to okay. to do some business in Akrimi okay. ya Rika okay. but yes unaweza pata mkopo na usucceed vizuri sana na mkopo pia inasaidia sana mm -hmm. lakini kama huna mpango ya vile utaitumia ama vile pia utaidisha utaumia okay yes okay so where are you at right now Happy married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Happy sons. Wow. Atendai and Kira. Ndio meka mingi kapi sasa hivi. Na ndio yako. Miaka 7. 7 years together. We separated for 3 years. Okay. But uh, we are 7 years okay. together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um the bin kitaka kusema narudi media. Mhm. Mm oh really? Yes. Where? Siwezi kuambia kwa sasa. Oh, Ni naanza hii Juma, hii Juma hii Friday. Look at God. Yes. Wow. Na okay. kusema kweli kurudi kwangu ku reengineer myself mm -hmm. mambo yanaanza kufunguka okay. and believe me when you okay. do those two things kuna vitu yeah. mbili ambavyo kila siku najaribu kujiambia ni ndio kufanya mm -hmm. forgiveness and gratitude would you go back to to you know your old friends where you meet hang out drink go to the clubs not to not to not to party with them okay. but to help them okay. because i know we all we all okay. have friends okay. who need your help and yeah. i feel i'm now super charged to yeah. go back You know there's and that media pressure. It, it, it happens. Tunaelewana. Yes. Me I'm yes. right yes. now. Yes. And with the lessons I've learned mm. to be ashamed for yeah. me to go back to where I was. Okay. And I'd like to use this opportunity to 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 uplift other men. Yeah. To talk to them. I'm talking to a lot of men right now. Yeah. And that came mm. from that video I engaged. Yes. Ambao wako na shida zao. Wengi wanampigia ama wanatumia email ama wanaongelesha kwa Facebook, uh Twitter, Instagram. Najaribu kuongelesha ile mawaidha kidogo ambao wanaweza kupata because I don't have the solutions. Yeah. I can only tell you what I did and what I think might be the direction you will take. Okay. I can only I cannot solve your marriage your marriage problems but yeah. like they are solvable okay yeah, yeah. and if and again the antarudia mm -hmm. if there is something to fight in your marriage fight for it okay yeah because sana sana na kipara tunakaa mahali na una unakaa tunanyenyekea but auja angalia kiundani ndio elewe ni nini inakufanya pia muwe pamoja okay yeah but there is a lot of there's a big challenge for me now yeah so sana sana kutoongea mm -hmm. amongst ourselves okay. we are not engaging each other we are not um, finding out how my brother is we mm -hmm. uh, my brother's keeper yeah. we are not doing that kama una rafiki na unajua kuna shida tafadhali mpe masikio mimi nilipatiwa masikio na Peter wa kuona yeah uh, you know, yeah. yeah. i prodded me to actually talk they yeah. are skiza but sometimes when men are going through this that's all they need is just to be hard yeah. sometimes it's just mtu wa kumskiza tu You may not be, need solutions there and then, but just kuskizwa if there is anything like that. Wow. Kuskizwa. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Umejaribu sana. Sijindo. Hakuna swali nyingine hapo? Hakuna. Hakuna nyingine sawa. Sifa ndio nyingi. Na muda ndio kidogo. Edgar Wangula anasema oh my god, siko kuondoa but wow. Uh sio rahisi for a man to be sincere like this guy. Yeah, baby Rasu anasema wow, this is such a good story Masawe. Tuletee wageni wengi kama hawa. Sifa ndio nyingi. Nashukuru na pole bwana msikiliza. Yes. Nashukuru sana. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Thank you my people. Tuna nani kesho nasema asante sana kwa kusikiliza kipindi. Kuanzia Sunday mpaka sasa. Eddie, all the best in your marriage. Asante, nashukuru.